Hello, my name is Dan. I'm going to uh, talk about some uh, pre-compliance testing that I've done recently uh, in regards to these little USB chargers. had a project I was working on that I needed to go through uh, compliance testing and uh, came across some interesting results. Uh, for my testing I'm using a Regal uh, DSA 1815TG dash EMI. Uh, it's the standard uh, low-cost uh, Regal spectrum analyzer with the built-in tracking generator and some of the EMI option, options. I'm also connected to a uh, um, line impedance stage stabilization network called Listen. And um, just a few words of caution whenever you're doing this type of me measurement you need to make sure that you have a limiter transient limiter slash attenuator uh, in between your listen and your spectrum analyzer uh, this particular listen has a built-in attenuator as we can see right here and I have it switched in um, I could alternatively use this uh, nice little uh, HP uh, transient limit limiter. <laughs> um, and as we can see, I've got this uh, set up already. And um, this is my background noise here. And uh, the purple line is the uh, FCC standard. Uh, basically, my signal can't go above that uh, purple line. Uh, I'm looking, the FCC standard is 150 kilohertz to 30 megahertz. Uh, right now I'm looking at basically the uh, lower 10 megahertz. Uh, I'm going from 150 kilohertz to 10 megahertz. <clears throat> so I'm going to plug in a few of these adapters and we're going to see what uh, results we have. This is a well-known adapter. You might recognize it. I'll plug that in and as we can see it's uh, very quiet. Here's an adapter that uh, came with my FLIR camera. We'll plug that in. Again, no issues. This is a generic adapter that I think uh, came with a Raspberry Cup Pi kit. Again, you can't even tell that from the background noise. Okay, here's the thing where things get a little goofy. Uh, I bought a, a couple of these high power adapters that were supposed to be uh, capable of a couple of amps. Got them off of eBay and uh, you might see that, that says Samsung, but I think these are clearly fakes when I got them. The, uh, the country specific adapter didn't even fit this piece and um, it was very poorly put together. I had to super glue things together to make things fit and uh, anyways I think this is a fake. I'll plug that in and uh, we can see that we have some issues here. This uh, We have several spikes above the uh, limit line there this unit will probably would not pass. Here's another generic that I had laying around. I don't know where it came from. No company name. It just says it's a power adapter. <laughs> this one even has uh, some worse problems. Okay for the uh, adapter that will make you happy that you have a transient limiter. Off the screen. This little adapter is a piece of garbage. We'll probably just toss this in the, in the round file. Okay, for a little bit more detail I'm going to take this nice adapter here, plug it back in. 
we'll see that it's clean this listens kind of nice in that I can test both phases I'm looking at the neutral line right now I'll flip this over a little bit of transient noise right there when I flipped to the uh, different phase we can see that uh, noise off the line noise on the neutral they're the same I can also uh, reconfigure how the uh, earth uh, ground is connected on this box no effect okay you might be saying to yourself well let's go ahead and put a ferrite clamp on this uh, uh, on this <laughs> on the AC line to this adapter and see if that fixes it this is pretty low frequency so I don't think that a ferrite clamp would work uh, we can also try uh, one, uh, a, a, a EMI filter and see if that has any okay you might be saying to yourself well let's go ahead and put a ferrite clamp on this uh, uh, on this <laughs> on the AC line to this adapter and see if that fixes it this is pretty low frequency so I don't think that a ferrite clamp would work uh, we can also try uh, one, uh, a, a, a EMI filter and see if that has any effect so that's what we'll do right here so I just have a little jig made up this is uh, actually a, a two-stage filter and um, it's we'll see if this has any effect these typically will work uh, much better for higher frequencies and not for this low frequency and we'll plug her in look at that did have a pretty good effect a lot of this noise that was in here is now gone but we still have some problems with this low frequency I'll put in this other guy and that one's uh, starting to look okay have a few offending points here uh, but it that helped quite a bit probably won't be able to read that but this uh, filter is composed of two common mode filters I mean two common mode inductors and uh, the first inductor is 0 0.2 millihenry and the second inductor is for microhenries. Here is another test. This is a little uh, test fixture experimentation board that I made that uh, allows me to insert uh, different filtering components in the AC line easily. So AC in, AC out and uh, I have soldered on here a 30 millihenry uh, common mode filter had to be a little careful with this got exposed uh, live voltages here Okay, let's turn this on. Look at that. That's getting really close to passing. Let me zoom in a little bit on that. Okay, here's our same uh, USB charger. You can see that that's pretty noisy and uh, I've got a layered mid frequency they call it their 28 material uh, ferrite clamp and it's this black line right here 
and uh, you know maybe the real usable attenuation on this clamp is maybe five megahertz up to uh, several hundred megahertz if we had this uh, green material they call their LF for low frequency that actually might help a little bit but uh, we'll see what this guy here does real-time test mm. pretty much nothing as expected. Here's another test. I've got our same offending USB charger. I have my little stranger danger uh, test jig here again. I've got the same 30 millihenry common mode uh, inductor here, but I've also added two capacitors, one capacitor on either side, so it's kind of a pie looking filter now. These are 0.1 microfarad caps that are rated to go across the line. And uh, we'll see what happens with this test. Also note that man whenever, whenever I'm doing something with AC I always have a low amperage fuse in line so if something goes wrong I uh, don't have lots of sparks. I just have a little fuse that will pop. Okay, so let's plug this in. I'm off here. I'll plug this in. I'll turn the listen power supply on. Look at that. Looks totally quiet now. And it really is on. See that LED there? noise totally squashed by the two uh, X caps that are rated for going across the line and a uh, small common mode uh, inductor. There we go. I guess we ought to test neutral. Neutral looks fine we can directly connect to earth no issues there so there we go for this uh, power supply if they would have had a small little common mode filter a couple of caps it would easily pass CE and FCC line conducted emissions